Okay, let's talk about classifying leads and prospects using an LLM. So basically, let's give you an example of a use case. Let's assume that I'm running an automation in which I am targeting prospects based on specific attributes. As an example, I want to target agency owners in Facebook. So instead of going one by one into their account and seeing if they are agency owners based on their bio, or instead of asking an appointment setter to check their bios, what I can do is I can use classification method using an LLM or ChatGPT combined with Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. And this is a great solution because it is free and can save you a ton of time, can save you a ton of effort. I'm going to show you a small example with only four prospects, but imagine that you have like 10,000 prospects that you want to classify and you, again, you don't want to pay a VA to do it and you don't want to do it on your own, so you can just use this uh, automation. What's more, I'm using two free tools here, so Microsoft Power Automate Desktop is a free tool which you can download and get going pretty fast because it's no code, and also LLM Studio, which allows you basically to run different, uh, LM Studio, sorry, which allows you to basically run LLMs uh, locally. So what I've built over here, you can probably see is I'm launching an Excel. The Excel has a sp uh, in column A, it contains the bios of my prospects and it's going to take each bio, send it over to the LLM and ask the LLM to classify if he believes that based on the bio, this person is an agency owner. If he believes this person is an agency owner, the LLM will return a positive response. And if it doesn't think so, based on the bio, it's going to return a negative response. And this is done, obviously, as I said, locally using API calls. If you want, I can dive deeper into the automation, but I just wanted to show you the power of how can this, before we dive deeper into the automation, let me just show you an example. So we have LM Studio running over here. I'm using Mistral Instruct, which is a pretty small LLM, but it is very powerful. Let's, uh, this automation is going to launch the Excel file. After launching the Excel file, it basically takes column A. So this is the first bio, father, explorer, and chess player. And it sends the following prompt to the LLM. I want your help with analyzing a bio. Answer if based on the bio that I'll attach, you are certain that the person is a marketer. Please answer in the following format. Let me show you the format. This is the format. A, yes or no, this is A. And B, reasoning, example. And then I provide him an example. No, I believe he is a, I don't believe he is a marketer due to the fact that blah, blah, blah in his bio. So basically, I told the LLM exactly what is the format in which I want the response. So A is going to be a yes or no, and B is going to be the reasoning. And I provided an example, like a pattern that I would like the LLM to follow. So I sent this data to the LLM via an API call, API local call. And in a moment, it will return a response and it will write it down in the Excel in column B, in the corresponding column B. Okay, so we have a response. No, while this individual has mentioned the roles as a father, explorer, and chess player, there is no indication in the provided bio that they work and specialize in marketing. And now it's going to be the next one. You can see while it is running, also, in this case, no, it provided a reason. I think it was chopped now because I, I paused in the middle, but you see in a moment in column B, row number three, the next response. So basically now the LLM is trying to assess whether or not this guy, machine learning coach and crypto degen 
He is a marketer, and in a moment it will provide the response, and we will see it in column B. And while this is working, uh, I want to emphasize the fact that it might not look to you like a game changer now, because yeah, you can go into the BIOS and do this on your own, but this is just a tiny example. As I said, this is only four prospects, but if you want to do like 10,000 prospects, good luck going uh, one by one and trying to analyze if they are a good fit for your needs, whether, or whether they are applying. We had an error, let's see what was the issue. They failed to write, or oh, because it's a read only. Let's fix this very fast. Close all the Excel files. Sometimes when you have many Excel files and some of them are read only, things can go wrong. Let's fix this. We only want to do the last two rows. Here I'm not going to edit this out because I want you to see like some error handling. Although this is not a huge error, but still it is it might be useful for some of you and we are doing this again only in this case we are looping only on the last two rows that we didn't have and i'll go back to what i started saying that the fact that it doesn't seem significant at the moment because these are only four prospects but if you have 10,000 prospects it does become very significant and I know that some of you might have the objection of saying, okay, but uh, we still, how can I 100% trust uh, this output? So first of all, it really depends on the prompt and you can provide a prompt that requires a, a big amount of certainty or a smaller amount of certainty. And this should be a derivative of how important is it for you to get this right? So let's say I am reaching out to a prospect that is an important prospect and I'm reaching out for my name and my reputation is on the line, I would probably be very, very strict with this classifier and I would probably add another layer of variation, or not variation, validation. So how can you validate? There are three alternatives. One alternative is once you get the output for all of the rows, you ask a personal assistant of yours to validate. This still, it's going to save you a ton of time. The second alternative is doing this on your own, validating on your own, which some people might do so if it's a very important lead. And the third alternative is doing something similar to this, but this time validating. So instead of, of running and looping over column A, which is like the initial input, we can loop over column B, which is the actual output, and then create a prompt to validate. So for example, we can write a prompt over here. Based on the response, do you believe that we are, we are, are we 100% certain that this response is accurate, for example? Or we can also try to ask the LLM to scale, to provide a scale. On a scale of 1 to 10, how certain are you that based on this response, this person is a marketer? And then assuming it returns 7 and you want a very high certainty, like 90% and above. So if the LLM returns 7, you say, okay, it's a no-go. No Only if it returns 9 or above, you say, okay, that's fine, that's good enough. So basically, this is another way to validate and I also very often use this type of scales and I ask the LLM to assess things on a scale which sometimes is more accurate than asking the LLM to provide like a binary answer like a yes or a no. Now uh, I finished ranting and this has also finished creating the response. Let's see the Excel file. Yes, so we got a no. Reasoning, while the person has experience in machine learning, coaching, which could be valuable in marketing fields such as predictive analytics or data-driven decisions making, their self-identification as a crypto digit suggests a focus on cryptocurrency and blockchain, blah, blah, blah. You get the point. And now, the last prospect, he, is, he just returned a yes because this guy is a marketer, media buyer, agency owner, and co-founder. 
So this is exactly what we wanted. Basically, we had four prospects, four bios of prospects that I uh, that I took from their Instagrams, and I wanted to classify them because I only want to target people that are marketers. And as you can see here, we have we had before these two roles, but I didn't save them. But the LLM responded that both of them are not marketing related. Now we have this guy, which isn't marketing related. And I guess because this guy is pretty straightforward, he is a marketer. That's it, guys. I just wanted to show you this uh, powerful tool. ChatGPT isn't only for producing a ton of content and shitty content. It can also help with other things such as classifying and providing feedback regarding different initiatives. But in this case, I wanted to show you the, the power of classifying, of classifying using an LLM. That's it, guys. I hope you found it. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions, please drop a comment in the comment section below.